hi guys and welcome to the latest video. I'm going to make a short video about how to batch edit and, and bulk edit photographs that you take for eBay um, in, a, in a more uh, convenient way than Windows 10 allows you to do. So yeah, firstly this is just for people that use Windows 10 so Mac users are going to have to find a different solution or uh, they may not even have this problem at all. But what I'm getting at is quite simply uh, this, let me just screen share for you guys. I've got Windows 10 on my computer and when I look at my photos uh, in the file explorer this is what I see and then I can say for example click on a photograph so um, I don't know like for example click on this photograph here um, and now I'll, I can then edit the photo I can adjust its brightness etc um, but in order to do that I have to go to like edit um, and create and choose edit and then I go to adjustments and then I can adjust the brightness of the photo to make it pop a little. So this is what I currently have to do and this is what comes as default when you have Windows 10 installed on your computer. And the sad thing about this is, is that it used to be better. Um, Windows 7 had a much better bit of software pre-installed and I believe early versions of Windows 8 and what that was was a program called Windows Live Essentials. Now they have stopped um, supporting Windows Live Essentials. Um, I they, so there's no more. There's not going to be any more updates for it. But for what I use it for, I don't need any updates. So what Windows Live Essentials allows you to do. So for example, if we again open this the same photo, but this time I open with and I choose Photo Gallery. Windows Live Essentials is basically a suite of software and in that suite of software there is one piece of software called photo gallery and what I can do is I can actually open the photo in photo gallery and if I press this edit organize and share I can actually open all of my photos in in um, photo gallery now the beauty of this is is as long as I have framed my shots correctly when I've taken them and all I need to do is adjust like the brightness or something I can literally say okay every photo I've taken um, on in that in this particular date range July 2020 I'm just gonna click and it says 54 selected and then what I can do is I can just go to edit and then I can change the exposure with some presets and it'll bulk edit or batch edit all of them so say if I just want to make my photos pop a little bit more normally for me it's just a case of adding a bit of brightness so that middle square is where it is that's up one notch that and then there's up another notch. If I click that, what you'll see is all of my photos are being just brightened up that little bit. You can actually see the thumbnails being adjusted and it does it all in one go. So if you've sat down and you've taken a whole bunch of photographs and you just normally make them a little bit brighter just to give them a little bit of pop, this is the way to do it. It's so much more convenient um, than using Windows Photo software that comes with Windows 10. Now, Whilst that's doing that, I'll show you actually how to get this because this used to come pre-installed on Windows 7 and early versions of 8, I think, but they've stopped um, offering it. It's not available like that anymore, so you actually have to go and download it. Um, now, what you have to do is basically if you type in Windows Live Essentials 2012, that was the latest version of the program, the first link you'll come across will be this download.cnet.com link. Um, and you'll be able to download the whole package. Now, Windows Live Essentials, like I said, was a suite of programs. So there was an email app, there was a video editing app, I believe, and some other apps, Messenger and things like that. When you download it and you come to installing this, just choose custom installation and just tick the photo gallery. Don't bother, You don't need to install Messenger and email and whatever. You don't need to worry about all those. You just want the photo gallery. And it will actually give you an error message saying it didn't install, but the chances are it actually did. Um, it's just a, a glitch, I suppose, with installing it on Windows 10. But honestly, this um, this bit of software for me is is huge. It allows me to, like I said, edit my photos so much more quickly. And you can see this, they're all they're all done now, so that they're all a bit brighter than they were a little bit, you know. And and you know you're not gonna you have to obviously be careful. So this is basically what it looks like after it's been brightened in batch mode and I can actually revert it to the original um, and then there you go it's there you go you can see how much darker that was that's the original photo I took um, and then this was the that's where I actually set it to and you can see I can when you do them individually you can see the differences but I just tend to choose that option there so there's standard 
that's up one bit of exposure and that's another bit i don't know if that stops or not but it just brightens the image up um and makes it look better and, but the key thing is it can do it in bulk where which you can't do on the default windows app so hopefully this will be useful to some of you guys um, so like I said, it's just a free download, but when you download it, you'll be downloading like a whole bunch of um, yeah, it's, it's like a, a suite of applications, like I said, and you just need the photo gallery. Um, photo gallery allows you to bulk edit the brightness, which is what I use it for. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments about this, leave them in the comment section and I'll be I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.